Good morning. This is Ron Brown. It's May 3rd, 2022. I have a uh, support question on uh, updating the uh, indexes uh, intraday or the uh, industry groups intraday to see where the strength is. Now, uh, this is a view from last night. You can, If you look at this, and let me show you where I am, I'm in my top-down scorecard views for HCSI analysis, top-down number one zero one percentage price change notice the date last date five two and these are the groups that were on top uh, this uh, is the industry percentage price change one day yesterday it's the same as the percentage price change in this column because they're both reflecting what's uh, going on over here now I want to show you how to stay on top of this during the day I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go in and make sure that my uh, intraday is enabled. And I'm going to update the intraday now. I have Thinkorswim running in the background. And it's going in and pulling the quotes off of the server. Now I'm going to use this data, current stock data, to rebuild the industry groups to see where the strength is today. So they've been processed and now I'm going back to the warehouse. But I want to close this view because if I leave this view open well the industry groups are in here. It's going to slow the process down. So just remember consumer goods, leisure clubs, telecom. Then I'm going to go into the designer. I'm going to go into your, your select industries and then go to the tools menu and rebuild indexes in group, in this specific group, the industries group. It takes very little time to do this. Now I'll flip back to the warehouse view. Here it comes. And look how this has changed. Also, Look here at the last date. It now says 5.3. It's no longer 5.2. And what's on top? Exploration and production. Coal, marine shipping. And if you go over here, it tells you the advancers versus the decliners. So that's how much this has changed. Now, not only this view. It comes in handy in any other view. I'm going to uh, go into the designer one more time and I'm going to rebuild my user smart groups. Now this takes about 30 seconds. I have a lot of user smart groups and uh, I just leave them in there for inventory purposes and so on. I don't use all of them. Okay, that's finished. Now I will go down to my user smart groups under Ron's top user smart groups and I'm going to use the intraday bullish and I'm going to look at this one right here it says rebuild industry groups first the reason that this statement is in here because I need to know which groups are moving up up with 85 85 stocks or 85 EPS rank and an 85 relative strength rank now I'm going to click through to the warehouse and then I'm going to go down into my daily prospecting scans and go to 1A because these are stocks assigned to industry groups. Notice the industry percentage price change is here. Exploration and production is the, the uh, leading group and the industry Percentage price change that is represented in this column was built just now from the stocks that are moving up. They have to have an 8585 and they have to be in a group that's moving up. Now if I scroll down to the bottom, let's see if there are any groups that are negative. No, they're all positive today. But I could not do this scan unless I knew or I know which groups are moving up. And let's just look at a 
stock here. Look at the fundamental. You can see the EPS is 92, the RS is 99, and if I scroll over here to the right, see, you can see that the RS and the EPS rank are all above 85. So what good is this view? It, it serves many purposes, but the primary purpose is it concentrates only on stocks that are moving up in industry groups that are moving up. If an industry group isn't positive, the 8585 on the stocks do not come into play. The other day when the market was tanking, there was not a single stock in this view. And what do I have today? I have 137. So this shows me what the industry percentage price change is for the day and the 8585 stocks. Now I can use, once I've rebuilt these energies, I can, <laughs> the indexes, I'm sorry, I can uh, use uh, many scans to look for stocks that are in groups that are moving up. Now let's just go back. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go up to my reference groups. And I'm going to go back to the industries. I'm going to click here and notice that even though I'm in the stocks assigned to industry groups, it's not stocks, it's industry groups. So notice what the last date is here because it's reflecting the industry groups. Now if I change to the stocks, it says 5-2 because this is the last end of day update for the stocks, 5-2. But this is the current price of the stocks, which is 5-3. So this is yesterday's date, the last download. This is current data as of five minutes ago when I, uh, last time I updated. This is very powerful because you can see what's happening in the market today, not what happened at the end of the day. I can take this information in all different directions by screening or scanning stocks that are positive for the day. I'm not going to do it in this video because I don't want this video to be any longer. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll try to clarify this.